More and more research is uncovering the dangers of vaping, with one of the latest studies showing it can increase your risk of respiratory infections. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain how researchers were able to show this and the impact flavorings or nicotine actually made on the risk. Well, you know, Kim and Devin, of course, when you vape, or use an e-cigarette, you release thousands of different chemicals that then go right into your airways. And as you might expect, they do cause injury. The question is, how bad is it? And the answer is, it's bad, especially when it comes to protection from infection. Why is it important? Because the, if an integrity of the airway barrier is disrupted, everything can get in, like other viruses can get in, or other pollution or allergens can get in. Dr. Fariba Rizai says they created a breathing simulator for the study and then tested different devices and flavors to see how they would impact cells in the airway. She says they discovered that no matter the device or flavors introduced, they all caused harm. However, the combination of flavor and nicotine were said to be the worst. They also learned that the use of e-cigarettes or vapes can put a person at greater risk for viral infections like RSV. We expose the cells to the aerosols generated by this machine, and then we did the viral infection. And we saw that there was, the effect was worse. So basically, we saw more viral infections and more damage to the airway epithelial cells. Now, obviously, more research needs to be done, but this really highlights something that deserves special attention, especially during respiratory virus season. If you vape or use e-cigarettes, you're more likely putting yourself at an increased risk for respiratory infections. And I realize if you're young, you probably don't think it's a big deal. But when you are infected, you can spread it to more vulnerable older family members, and that may yeah. be where the bigger risk lies. Yeah. Something to think about. Well, we know cigarette smoke is harmful, and now we know that vaping is har more harmful than we first thought. I'm just curious about the uh, benefits or the harm in smoking marijuana. Is it worse than maybe what we thought? Because it seems like everywhere we go now, we're smelling smelling it everywhere, mm -hmm. so certainly mm -hmm. more people yeah. do it. And it's still smoking, right? It is still, it is still smoking, and it's definitely become more common. And this is something that I actually find really interesting. <clears throat> the short answer is cannabis smoke is harmful to your airways. But, you know, people really underestimate the harm because, and I know this because I can't tell you how many asthmatics I see. I specifically ask them if they smoke, and they say, no, I don't smoke except marijuana, like that's not really smoking. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I'm really just gonna kind of throw this out there. It's not an endorsement or anything, but if someone wants to use marijuana and they have a lung disorder, they should not smoke it. They can eat it instead. Gummies, brownies, oh, at least that's not gonna hurt your lungs. Again, not an endorsement, but there are better ways to do it than hurting your lungs. Or anyone who doesn't want a lung problem Exactly. Yep, yep. Secondhand smoke. Smell so, it yep, either. Yep, yeah, yep, that's mm -hmm. right. Yep, yep. Okay. All right, Doc.